Okay, so I'm going to create a very simple demonstration of how to create a, a switch for a cockpit. Um, so I'm just going to create a very simple model that we can use quickly to uh, to demonstrate this. Oh yeah, that'll do. It's a bit big, but don't need a bit of scale for this. This is just a demonstration, really. So I'm just going to put the pivot point at the bottom just to make it easier for us to rotate it. So I'm just going to uh, rotate the, uh, the switch into a sort of initial position. So I'm going to have a three switches here. So let's just make some copies of this. So I've got three switches. Uh, say for master arm off, sim and arm. So I've got the models in place, so now I need to make um, the switches. So we'll have the switches in, and what I tend to do is just align these um, to the objects just to uh, so I know which switch is for which object. You can put them wherever you want, really. Um, but I tend to put them at the base, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then Create some copies of those again. This time I'm going to copy it rather than instance it because I need to set different values for each switch. So let's say switch set. This one is going to be, let's just link that now to this switch. And we'll link this to the second one and link this to the third one. Okay, so this is going to be the master arm for state zero. So it's in here, so master arm zero. Then we're going to have master arm one. Okay, so that's all the three switches set up zero, one, and two. And they're all linked in. So if we just export that, okay, you can see we've got three switches. If we do S213 and S213 again, it turns them all on and off. That's to be expected in OpenGL. It doesn't recognize the, the branches, just the main switch itself. So that's how we would set up the switches. And then a hotspot for each of these, well, what we need to do is add, we'll just add a quick dummy object in uh, because we need to use the uh, the modifier. And so we add a full copy to that. And let's just align it up. Okay, to the to sort of the base of the switch area. And then we need to select from that the master arm. I mean, we can we can either use the master arm up down. Um, so if we're going to use master arm up down, um, so let's say up, we'll use for the left button. Okay, and then we'll use master arm down will be the right button. And to export that, use the help, use the uh, utility, export it to copy callback, and it's export it to a DAT file. So then you've got the model, which is the switches themselves, and then you've got the callback, which is in the, the DAT file.